So I was watching Low Cow Live. It's got 21,000 people. That makes it the biggest live stream right now. Obviously, they're discussing Boogie. Boogie is a hot issue right now. He lied about cancer, having cancer for two years, or at the very least, being diagnosed for cancer. So that's a pretty, pretty substantial lie. That is definitely not something that normal people would lie about. But this is Boogie, and then he also lied. So not only did he double down, he also continued to lie. And he even threatened to blank blank himself on live stream when confronted with Destiny. Now, Destiny is not allowed back on the channel because it makes Boogie look really, really, really bad. But uh, that's where we are right now. In terms of Magic the Gathering, uh, Boogie mentioned he was going to sell his Magic cards and he was going to move. So he was going to sell his house. A lot of his income comes from Keemstar, who pays him $2,000 a month, which is the mortgage. And now he is begging for donations because he cannot afford said mortgage. And he's mentioning, oh, he's going to move to West Virginia. He's going to maybe rent a house or apartment with his very, very young girlfriend who also doesn't have a job. So we have a situation where this is life-changing for Boogie. Uh, Keemstar, he fired Boogie and he bought Boogie's shares. So that is very serious. Boogie no longer owns the thing. Now... I've seen actually a lot of Magic players like this. Uh, one very prominent Magic player, and I uh, tear up when I think about him, is the Mana Source Weds. He has the exact same backstory as Boogie. He faked a medical injury. He faked a medical injury to receive massive amounts of donation and support. Then he left Magic the Gathering for two to three years. He actually ran off as soon as the money got sent to him he ran off to the uk probably because he didn't want to pay the debt I, i'm i'm pretty sure there w was some medical some medical bills because it did seem like he, he had a lot of pictures of him at a medical facility so I, i'm positive that he actually did go to the medical facility to take photos at the very least now, was it for the spine injury or the back pain? I don't believe it. And here's the evidence I have. Two and a half years later, the mana source then miraculously came back as if uh, nothing, nothing happened. And then he started making videos again, and uh, no one watched them. And then he started tweeting again and tweeting and no one no one cared because they had moved on. And, and that's the kind of crazy part about this is how much could he have gotten away with had people not moved on. And we have a interesting question to ask for Boogie. You know, magic has destroyed many lives. It has. Oh, absolutely. Magic has destroyed many, many lives. When you think about the people who... Like, for instance, Boogie, instead of getting a job, instead of working on his streaming or YouTubing, he's busy playing Magic. And he's always, there's this idea that Magic cards are super valuable, and when you need money, it is easy to get your money out of Magic, which is completely false. It's not like the S&P 500. Um, it is not like your bank or CD, where maybe you get a penalty for a CD for cashing out early, but it won't be that bad. No, magic is really, really bad in terms of when you need money, uh, can you cash out money? And the answer for the most part is no. And that's really unfortunate because a lot of people know right now the economy is not good right now. I think um, we just had a hurricane here, so a lot of people are desperate for money. And um, yeah, a lot of people are very desperate for money right now. So uh, in Houston, because the hurricane is, you no, know, it we also we didn't have electricity, so everyone's food went bad. Money is something that is incredibly critical at any time of your life, right? At any given time of your life, money is 
you need it. You absolutely need it. Now, again, uh, let's talk a little bit about Magic the Gathering and your life as a Magic the Gathering player. It's rough, man. It is rough out there. Uh, the card games, the TCG market is extremely volatile. The reason I think there's so much volatility is the pump and dump. The pump and dump is just so crazy in these card games because there's no regulators. There's no people to uh, suggest. There's no one that to stop you from pumping and dumping, essentially. There's no one to stop you from pumping and dumping. If you want to continue to pump and dump, um, you are welcome to continue to pump and dump. And no one, and because of that, prices I think are very artificially high. And artificially high means that there is a opportunity that what you bought isn't what you actually thought you bought. You look at One Piece, for instance. Uh, One Piece is definitely not doing well right now. And yeah, um, reprints, uh, there's always a danger and most people don't really understand what the danger is until the danger happens. I bet you Dota One Piece people didn't know there was a danger. Magic, same thing. Magic cards go up, magic cards go down. It is a really, really tough, it's, it's tough um, out here making magic content. And it's tough, you know, selling and trading magic cards. Like, they tr truly don't have that much value as you think it does. Because when the time comes to sell and you're desperate for money, I bet you there will be less sellers. There will be much fewer sellers available um, because, yeah, uh, they're just not going to... When you want to sell is when everyone else in their grandmother wants to sell. That's the statement I'm going to make. And when you want to buy, it's when everyone wants to buy. Because of this, you have a parallel where you're not actually going to make much margin because you're selling when things are low and you're buying when things are high. That's not a formula for success. That is a formula for absolute disaster, right? Um, that's a formula for failure and losing a lot of money. Anyway, I do think Boogie would have been better. I think I do think a lot of people are better off without Magic the Gathering. If you don't have the finances, you don't have the time, your life is kind of a shithole, you need to get your life together because before, Magic is a really expensive game, guys. It is an incredibly expensive game. Anyway... Hi guys.